Hello, welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl Faith. Here we are stepping out with faith to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. This is our kickstart um, one hour alone time with God devotional. We commit one hour with God every day as a spiritual investment, building a habit that will form the character of a closer walk with God. We hope that you will join us in this journey. And if you're coming for the first time, we invite you to subscribe and stay with us. Let us start off with prayer. Father, we thank you for another occasion that we can come before you to worship. We beg that you'll empty us of all that is not like you and fill us with the presence of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the fruits of the Spirit. Please implant them in all of us. And Father, ripen those fruits so others can come and benefit from them. Father, take full control and lead us into light and understanding as we feed from your table now in jesus name amen we go into our memory text which we have been reciting it comes this week from genesis 1 and verse 1 which we take also from our seven day adventist quarterly it says in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth genesis 1 verse 1 in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth we pray that God will help us to commit this to memory, to glorify his name, and to edify souls, even our very own, in due season. We now go to our devotional guide, sharing from the vision of Ellen G. White, as recorded in the Maranatha devotional guide. This morning's devotional is entitled, Satisfying Answer. Key text, Isaiah 55 and verse 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Our plans are not always God's plans. In his loving care and interest for us, often he who understands better than we understand ourselves refuses to permit us selfishly to seek the grat gratification of our own ambition often our plans fail that god's plans for us may succeed in the future life the mysteries that here have annoyed and disappointed us will be made plain we shall see that our seemingly unanswered prayers and disappointed hopes have been among our greatest blessings we are not now sufficiently advanced in spiritual attainments to comprehend the mysteries of god but when we shall compose the family of heaven these mysteries will be unfolded before us then much will be explained of the matters upon which God now keep silence because we have not gathered up and appreciated that which has been made known to the eternal mysteries. The ways of providence will be made clear. The mysteries of grace through Christ will be unfolded. That which the mind cannot now grasp, which is hard to be understood, will be explained we shall see order in that which has seemed unexplainable wisdom in everything withheld goodness and gracious mercy in everything imparted truth will be unfolded to the mind free from obscurity in a single line at its brightness will be sorry in a single line and its brightness will be unbearable the heart will be made to sing for joy controversies will be forever ended and all difficulties will be solved all that perplexed in us in the providence in the providences of god will in the world to come be made plain 
the things hard to understand then will f sorry the things hard to understand will then find explanation the mysteries of grace will unfold before us where our finite minds discovered by con discovered only confusion and broken promises we shall see the most perfect beautiful harmony we shall know that infinite love ordered the experiences that seemed so trying so as we realize the tender care of him who makes all things work together for our good we shall with we shall rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory amen this morning's devotional satisfying answers truly come as an encouragement this morning many of us are praying prayers that have not yet received answers we have dreams we have hopes that do not yet seem to have any light on the path that we desire to go in this morning's devotional i am encouraged to know that whatever is happening to me if I'm living after the will of my Father and following in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, then everything is working out for my good. I am not going to pretend that this is an easy message to embrace, but I do thank God for this message. And right here and right now, I would, I would like to, I am going to purpose in my heart to trust God entirely even in the plans that I have that are not going in the direction that I planned them. May God continue to help us to trust him even when we cannot understand him. In Jesus' name we beg. We go now to our devotional, motivational hymn. As such a plan, such a desire, and even such a message truly requires of us to take our relationship with God to another level. So this fitting song, Higher Ground, Number 625, which we have been committing to memory, is going to encourage us further now. We sing stanza three. I want to live above the world, though Satan's darts at me are hurled. For faith has caught the joyful sound, the song of saints on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and I shall stand by faith on heaven's table land. A higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the message this morning. It is an encouragement that even though many things in our plans, in our prayers, seem unanswered and unsupported by you, giving us heartbreaks and disappointments of such extremities, we cannot find words to describe them. We are reminded this morning that these experiences and situations, which are mysteries now that we cannot understand why you will hold them back from us or not allow them to come to us, that these things will be made plain and clear when you come as a part of our reasoning together. Father, I look forward to understanding some of these mysteries from my own life's chapter. But even now, as we live on this earth, I pray, Father, that through this message, and through this encouragement, as I purpose in my heart to trust your hands, even when my plans are not penning out and not going according to what I have planned, that I will trust you in everything, even when I cannot see the purpose and the reasoning behind your decision in not allowing some of my plans to come through and to succeed. Father, I pray that on in the hearing of this prayer, who have plans, who have prayers that are unanswered, who have plans that are seemingly unsupported for the direction that they desire and those directions seem so good and healthy and and you know meaningful i pray that you'll help them too to trust your hands father 
Give us the abiding Holy Spirit to guide us into this trusting relationship and may it from this day forward be better and may it even be cemented for eternity. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you so much for joining. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be now and always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Walk good, but above all, please walk with God. Do continue for one hour, you and God alone.